I'd like to welcome you to our brand new building. It's the old Fifth Ward Schoolhouse uh, in Greensburg. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful place, kind of fell into our lap. We heard about it through word of mouth that it might be available. Uh, it, was, uh, it was formerly owned by Adelphi and we talked to them and we became renters. And then one thing led to another and we were able to purchase the building. And it will soon become the David Mateer Center for the Performing Arts. Uh, he is a, a wonderful contributor and man who sadly has passed. But in his legacy, his family wanted to create something that was lasting, that he cared about. And he was a big supporter of stage right. He provided uh, scholarship money to our students and was so interested in what they did and, and, and how they used that experience. It was just a, he was just a great guy. It's very sad that he's not with us any longer, but his name will live on at the David Mateer Center for the Performing Arts, home of Stage Right School for the Performing Arts and Theater Company. Stage Right is many, many things. It is at its heart a school for the performing arts and professional theater company, as, as is our title, but it, it's really more than that. It's a place for kids to, our tagline is where dreams begin. And it really is that sort of a starting place for kids. If they want to be professional performers, that's great. We have a, a slate of professional actors who pass that gift along to them and help them achieve their dreams and audition for colleges and, and have that difference in their lives. And then there are kids who, who come here because they want to find confidence. They want to find the ability to stand up in front of a group of people. Um, maybe they're going to go off to be politicians or mayors. We have a young man working in Washington for uh, the State Department. So it, it really is one of those places where you get to come here with a dream um, tied to music or performance or confidence or whatever it is and then we do our best to help you with it. Yes, in our 16 years, uh, we started off as a school for the performing arts, just straight out school for the performing arts for kids ages 8 to 18. And then as time grew, we saw that there were, uh, there were, there were you know, differences in kids and they needed different things. So we created performance tracks for kids who want to become professional performers. And then we have our regular classes for kids who, who want to take class, become better dancers or singers or whatever it is. And then we discovered this whole audience of homeschool kids, kids who, uh, whose parents have chosen to keep them home and school them at home. And we're their cultural outlet. Uh, they come here and they, they perform a show, they produce a show, they, uh, they, they learn a show, they take classes in singing and dancing and acting, and then at the end of their 10 weeks they uh, perform something uh, that is their own. Uh, and, and that is, you know, that's one of the, the, the things that we do. We're always looking to reach out to the community and, and find an audience that is being underserved or needs something and then we provide that with them. And that's why we've come up with other programs like Books Come Alive and our Kids Take a Stand Bully Outreach programs. So how's the community? Well, you know, uh, for our Books Come Alive program, it was uh, something where the library came to us and said, we want to tie literacy with performing arts. And we thought, what a great idea. So we'll take books, and as opposed to just doing a dramatic reading of them, we'll act them out. And uh, we'll add some music to them. Uh, we take them to the libraries and schools. Now, this inspires kids not only, hopefully, to become our next generation of theater lovers, but it also might encourage them to pick that book up and read it. Or if it's by an author they like, pick, that, uh, pick up another book by that author and read it. Or we oftentimes do books that are in a series. So like, you know, you like one Amelia Bedelia? Great. Here's like seven more. Why don't you go read them at your local library? And with our outreach programs, you know, bullying is such a huge thing in our country. Uh, and it really does start in the grade schools and the middle schools. And the thing that we preach through our programs is that we want to get kids to stand up for each other to be each other's friend, to be there for them. So it's called Kids Take a Stand, and it's a series of programs that inspire kids to become brave enough to stand up for one another when the time is right. Absolutely. I encourage everybody to go to our uh, website, www.stagerightgreensburg.com. That tells you all the things that we're doing, including our professional theater company, getting ready to produce Shrek at the Palace Theater, our upcoming children's theater productions of Little Red and La Bafana, and it also tells you all about our classes, our homeschool classes, our Books Come Alive programs, our outreach programs. Go to our Facebook page. That's a great way to get to know everybody. It's a very active page. Tons of people are on there. Tons of parents are on there. It's a great way to get a feel for what the organization is about. Uh, and, you know, we're an organization that is all about the community. If you have a need for our sensations, say, our performance troupe, to come to your event, call us. We'll, we'll work out a deal so that we can come perform for you. We don't turn anybody away. We always try to work with everybody within their budget because we feel as if us being out there in the community and providing what they need and providing them a service is the most important thing we do here. And of course we are a nonprofit organization, so if you're interested in becoming a volunteer or making a donation, visit our website or give us a call at 724-832-7464, that's 724-832-SING. Our doors are always open. Our executive director Chris Oros or myself, come talk to us. 
Tell us what uh, you're interested in, what you need. If you have a special child, a special, a special case, if you have a, a project or a group that you uh, need help with, come and talk to us. We're here for you.